Okay, this is gonna be Pisces, March 2023 reading. Um, I have a Venus in Pisces, um, so I definitely get it. I'm a lover girl at heart, always have been. Um, that's like the one soft spot in my entire chart. Sunsets might be um, significant. Sunsets, sometimes sunsets signify death. Um, like maybe somebody passed away and you see them in the sunsets. Um, You're kind of like in a transition right now, Pisces. Um, you're headed in the right place at the right time, but like, especially if this is like in regards to love, like you're headed in the right direction and everything is happening in divine timing. But it's just that like I'm feeling like for some of you guys, you might be single. For some of you guys, maybe somebody passed away. Um, but it's like you're kind of in limbo with this timing as well as like your protection um, and just kind of like being grounded. Pisces has like, you guys are known as like the dreamy sign. So sometimes you guys get a little bit like carried away. Everybody says Pisces are delusional. I'm a Pisces Venus, so when it comes to love, I am a little bit delusional. Um, yeah, Spirit is just calling on you to really just... <sighs> That's funny. You might have had to, like... You might have gone through something. Something burned. Like, you got the fire card. So, something ended. Something like literally went up in flames like whether that be your relationship whether that be your um like something just had to end um but i'm also hearing like it had to like make way for new things so i feel as though like spirits kind of like working behind the scenes to get you what you want you had to work on your boundaries um, Pisces can also be like a very sweet sign, but sometimes Pisces can overgive because they can be a little bit delusional. Um, but regardless, your angels are here and they're supporting you. Again, you got the angels card, so somebody might have passed away. Um, that might be really significant. But throughout this time and this transition period, you're just supposed to focus mainly on yourself. You're just supposed to be taking time for introspection and self-inventory. So if you're single right now in particular, uh, you might be working on your spirituality and your wisdom. You might just be like growing and taking time to yourself. Um, that, yeah. You've been working on your passion, but I feel as though some of you guys have been in survival mode. Some of you guys were really, really passionate. Um, but you guys... I was like, hearing like dating. I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm a Pisces uh, Venus, but especially when it comes to dating, it's almost like you've had to... You've been coming into contact with people that put you in survival mode, that don't really like have your best interest at heart um you haven't found like the partner for yourself yet so that you can just sit and relax but everything is coming into balance and like the like you've kind of been working on yourself almost like a self project um, I feel like some of y'all have been taking time out of the dating game so that you can ground yourself um, and clarify the spring card. Like, like what else? This reading's a little weird. Yeah, you've been working on your concept of inner self, taking action. 
the things that you like the seeds that you've been planting the manifestations that you've been um like making are coming into fruition the dreams that you've had especially the pisces they've been coming into fruition and you've been focusing on your some of you guys might have gone through a breakup um and you've been focusing on being more flexible and adaptable um and being open to change and standing in your personal power um you've been learning how to become more balanced and then you have you've gained an insight in that time that you've taken away from all of this and then you've become you've almost stepped into like your goddess energy you've developed more boundaries um and your angels have definitely supported you i don't know if you work with archangel michael in particular anything else for it yeah you've been working on your third eye and clairvoyance i feel like this is a dating reading some of you guys might have been dating somebody who passed away um but when it comes down to that it's just like You've been seeing people for who they are, not really who you want them to be. Um, and I feel like that's a very valid point. Anything else, Spirit? I feel like that might almost be the end of that reading. Anything else for Pisces in the month of March 2023? You've been healing. That's the energy that you have. You've been working on your boundaries. I'm hearing overgiving. Uh, you've been learning how to listen to your intuition, a little voice in the back of your head. Again, you might have been dealing with a lot of people that, yeah. Oh, it says past over loved ones came out in reverse. Maybe you weren't dating somebody who died. Um, but, some of you guys might have, but, um, you're learning how to take on the behaviors and the choices of the person that you want to be and the person that you want to show up as. Yeah, um, you guys have been surrounded by hella snakes. I feel like this is a love reading, uh, for Pisces. Um... Anything else? What can you expect in terms of love in 2023? Pay attention to your dreams. Um, some of you guys might have had people, exes, coming to you in your dreams. Um, that's annoying. <laughs> um, what can Pisces expect in terms of love in March 2023? You're cleansing and clarifying yourself. And you're seeing yourself as who you really are. Um, you're working on your boundaries. That's weird. You keep getting this card. Um, some of you guys might have had somebody that passed away. And if they did pass away, um, your past over loved ones are coming to you to provide you support, comfort, and forgiveness. Um, but in terms of just like your love... You are on the right path. You might be moving soon. Some of you guys might be moving, but you're on the right path. You're on the right journey. Um, you might even be in the right location in the month of March to meet somebody. So, hope that helps.